other day, I was googling my last name to try and find some family history or whatever, and I found that some guy named Ernest Kirkendall co-discovered an effect in metal bonding with Alice Migelskis in 1947. Like, dude, Ernest, we're not related, but that's cool. This effect has to do with interdiffusion, which is where two or more materials diffuse and mix freely to become homogeneous or equally spread out. Imagine mixing sugar and butter in a brownie recipe. If you want it to bake right, the sugar and butter first must be mixed into a homogeneous mixture where everything is equally spread out and mixed together. Homogeneous mixtures could also include vinegar, steel, and brass. On a molecular level, interdiffusion is more complicated. First, you have to understand diffusion in molecules, which works like airport security and the idea that some things can pass through security tunnels faster than others. The measure at which materials can diffuse or move through the barrier is diffusivity. This measure of capability would be assumed to be different in different materials because of the way diffusion works. This would therefore make a net drift of atoms in the interdiffusion of materials, almost like when a wave crashes against a building. This doesn't happen, however, and the materials stay stationary because of a lattice translation known as the Kirkendall effect. In this, the diffusing atoms spread into vacancies, where they basically switch places and allow things to balance. The fact that this can even happen is insane and shows how boundaries in our world are surpassed on a molecular level. Now, you may be asking, Kayla, why does this minuscule, a little effect even matter? Well, sure, it's nothing compared to the phenomena of our universe, but I hope that knowledge on this tiny process will simply open your mind to looking deeper. The world is a chain reaction. This Kirkendall effect prevents Kirkendall voids and alloy to metal bonding, strengthening and securing the metal we use. Overall, the millions of tiny miracles that bind together our universe are perhaps the most important thing to reflect on, and I hope to spread the notion of not taking the little things for granted, whether it be Kirkendall voids or your favorite song. So, get off your phones, go out, and fill your life with the little things that matter.